Leo. Thank you for clicking on my channel and welcome to the journey home. My name is Catherine and we're going to take a, as soon as I find out where this hair is, we're going to take a look at your week ahead. My apologies for last week's videos. People were reporting that they were freezing. I believe those issues are resolved. So here we go. It was a crazy week, guys. What can I say? Here we go. Message for Leo for the week ahead. What's going on for Leo? Well, Leo, we have you in your power, strength, walk in your talk, strong willpower. This is also about bringing in the number eight, bringing in to um, things almost picture you with a lasso there bringing something into reality oh making big big changes in relationship was there an ultimatum a big change in the relationship right at the heart of the reading we have the four of fire it's either a relationship that is ascending to a higher level of commitment and maybe that shook up your world a relationship that ended we have a blessing here this really feels like some kind of a miracle happened we have you being busy um, maybe that's where the strength comes in because you could have um, you know the you're busy multitasking you know between work and love or work and home maybe between logic and intellect and, and emotion now we have you grounded really really solidly grounded being able to handle all these changes this is a major change going on here but you seem to have some angelic help it feels Leo like someone is coming towards you with some kind of an offer that's just gonna it's like let's live together it's got that feeling there's someone coming towards you someone who's established wise anchored maybe a little pragmatic because I see the messenger of earth that feels pragmatic to me Virgo energy um, earth energy ace of earth is that miracle coming in that new beginning uh, there's money here there seems to be a lot of stability for money coming your way this person and that's shaking up your world wanting something solid with you but you seem to be very busy like gee I, I gotta prepare it's almost like getting your hope chest ready before you get married because you gotta get ready because this is coming in and while you're doing this you're doing it alone it's like before I can take this person on I need to tie up these loose this is about being single but it's also about blazing your own trail being independent self-sufficient you're busy you're busy and there's the ace to make it the 10 the completion when this person says hey let's move in together hey let's take on a project together let's partner up Let's clarify this. Oh, that was easy. Destiny. This person is your destiny. For good or for bad. Third eye chakra. Something's telling you. Now, whatever's shaking up your world, this could be about you moving. But you've, you, there's some foresight here. There's the ability to see what it will lead to with this person, with this situation where you're moving to or the job you're you're going to some big changes going on in your life balance with the four of fire this feels like a twin flame the 11 and the four of fire that's 11 11 11 thrice movement choices decisions it's like it's being dropped in your lap here Leo prosperity begins this person 
It's almost like they want, well, whoever this is, Leo, there's going to be a lot of stability. There's not going to be a need to worry about whether the bills are paid. There's going to be prosperity in love and in having a stable home. Heart chakra opening up. Oh, yeah, you are so in preparation. Another four. Partnership. You're preparing for this partnership. And sacrifice. Yeah, well, we'll have to sacrifice being single, won't you? I'm going to have to throw away the little black book. This is about looking at things from a different perspective. Changing your life. What is with everyone going through big changes in March? What is up with that? Let's do a final clarifier for you here, Leo. Even if you haven't met this person yet, man, oh man, there's some draw power here. Definite draw power. Now the heart chakra, that's the reminder that there are brain cells in your heart and you need to think with your heart. And it may be part of looking at things from a different perspective. Sorting things out, packing boxes. If it isn't about moving or moving in with someone, you are definitely, uh, spirit is preparing you for this, this change, this, it really feels like a lot of you are gonna be living in a different location at some point this year. Final clarifier for this reading for Leo. Unity. It is your destiny. And it is going to be a strong union. Do the right thing for the right reason. Maybe you're comparing traditional versus something new. The, approaching it differently. How it's affecting people in your family. Your friends. Princess of Summer. Wow. A new relationship or an emotional experience. Well, the tower. That's somewhat emotional, isn't it? Big change. You'll be invited out, perhaps, here. There's some compassion around you. Um, if this tower moment was something that really shook you up in a not-so-pleasant way, uh, Leo, the rest of the cards are showing you why. This is your destiny. And things that are in obstructing our destiny are destined to fall. You'll be taking a leap of faith. You're going to be in perfect balance. Perfect balance in this relationship. Now this could be a windfall. Wonderful news. Smart choices. Success public recognition blessings this union is going to be blessed celebrating the news this union this person wants to celebrate with you so yes I landed Leo announcements such as weddings or a graduation or a birth this is someone you can cherish, who cherishes you, or who will cherish you. There's this heart shocker going on. Boy, oh boy, what's with all these changes with everybody? It's like you're tying up loose ends. You're in preparation. Your heart shocker is opening up to this spiritual understanding, this union with the person, even if you haven't met them yet. But trust that there is a reason for everything that's happening right now. And remove yourself from negative emotions. The heart chakra helps you to do this. To, re to stay in your heart and not your mind. Stay in your heart and not your mind. Check out the uh, uh, afternoon delight. We definitely talked about the exercise of staying out of your mind. And back into the heart. And allowing the heart brain to take over. Removing from those negative emotions that drag you back or hold you back and the lovers look at this 
you're going to have to sacrifice being single because this is coming towards you. True love that is long lasting. Choices made from the heart. And a return to good health. Nothing healthier than a good relationship, isn't there? Let's have a look here at the romance angels. Let's have a message specific to Leo for love. This one's going to shake your world. So perhaps you're already involved. Perhaps you're going through a big change. It feels like you're going to move this year. Express your love. Go ahead. Make the romantic gesture. What other message for Leo regarding love? Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Now, some of you don't have parental issues, uh, depending on your age. You know, you've been there, done that. Some of you, this is about triggers of your past. What triggers you now? You're calling in your soulmate. Perhaps you're in separation from the one you love. Perhaps this is that psychic connection being drawn in. But I'll tell you, when they arrive, it's going to shake up your world. Third eye chakra opening. It's like when this tower moment happens, it's that third eye opens up as if to say... It, that realization that at the moment of the tower that it had to happen and this feels like being compassionate with yourself and someone else being compassionate towards you express your love calling in your soulmate for those of you already connected Your relationship is going through a change. And it is up to you whether you're leaving a relationship or evolving a relationship. It's going to resonate differently for each and every one of you. I hope you enjoyed that. And I pull free cards for people who join me in the chat on my live nights, which are Wednesdays and Sundays, but you'll find all that in the description below. Thanks for joining me, Leo. God bless you. Have a wonderful week. And I hope to talk to you again soon. Bye-bye for now.